Okay, now we are going to continue on how to actually find um, the x value, y value, and the z values of the original equation. Okay, of the original system of equations. So we got our um, determinants. Okay, it's a long process, I know. And again, the key for solving a 3x3 three three system of equations, regardless which method that you're doing, it's very important to be organized and be patient. Okay, be patient and be organized. That's the key to success for these equations. Okay, so we got our d, dx, and dy, dz, the determinants of this matrix. So, by Kramer's rule, Kramer's rule, x is equal to dx over d. You always put the de um, determinant of the d in the denominator. The way to think about this is, just think about the d as for denominator. So, this d is the negative 18, and we're looking for dx, which is equal to 0. Put the dx, which is 0, on the top. So dx is equal to 0 on the top. The d is the same for all three variables, but I will show you in a minute. D is negative 18. D is negative 18. So 0 over negative 18 is, of course, 0. And what we are saying is x is equal to 0. Next, y is equal to dy over d. So as you can see, that we always put the d, the determinant of the d matrix um, in the denominator. So dy is equal to negative 18. And d is, again, this number negative 18 and we get a positive 1 right negative 18 divided by negative 18 is equal to 1 and the next z is equal to as you can see this is just dz over d well dz is equal to a positive 18 so I'm going to put a positive 18 on the top over the d the value of d which is again negative 18 and 18 divided by negative 18 is equal to negative 1. And there you go. That's the answer. x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, and z is equal to negative 1. And this is this is exactly what we got earlier. And you, you can also write your answer in the format 0, 1, negative 1. The first number stands for the x, second number stands for the y, and the third number stands for the z. So it really depends on which method that you like. Um, if the question doesn't give you any method, if the question doesn't specify which method that you have to do, then I, I think either you do the Kramer's rule, or let me show you the, um, or you do the system of equation, or you do the um, addition method. Either method should be fine. And as you can see that we get the same answer, right, from both equations. And then check out the next video. I will show you guys how to do, how to solve this on the calculator to check with your answer.